Right, what, uh, what the procedure is, switch on your, your two uh, temperature gauges. Check. Yeah, one's EGT, it's exhaust gas temp. That's the exhaust gas temp, that's the one just going into the afterburner, and that's the one before the turbocharger. Yep. It is. Um, actually, I'll just explain to you the, the principle of, the, of a jet engine. Um, you uh, start this particular type of jet engine because it hasn't got electric start or it hasn't got air impingement start, which is where you fire compressed air at the turbine blades to spin them up. Yep. Um, this one's worked on force air, force air start, and uh, use this little thing running, which you force <coughs> air into there. High tech garden blower. High tech garden blower. Does the job. Yeah. <laughs> force air into there and that spins the turbine and forces air through the whole the whole system. Yep. You then switch the fuel on, add the fuel, ignite the fuel uh, inside of here. The air expands rapidly. When you heat air it expands rapidly. Yep. That then is then forced through this pipe, through the, uh, the turbine scroll and out through the um, through the exhaust. Yep. But because it's being forced through there, it's spinning this up. Uh, it's spinning the, tur the two turbines, which are fixed together inside here, it's spinning those up. And thus, which with it spinning this end, and being yep. forced to spin this end, it's being forced to spin this end as well. Which in turn is drawing more which air Which is in. in turn drawing more air. And after about 17,000 RPM, 15 to 17,000 RPM, it will start to self-sustain and it will start to build up um, speed. Cool. And, it, and, it, and it'll get higher and higher of the amount of fuel, you, you, and you control the speed by the amount of fuel. Yep. It's simply how you throttle it, it's just the amount of fuel going in. And in this case, as I say, it's propane fuel. It can be modified to run on um, aviation fuel or kerosene uh, or even just neat diesel with a bit of petrol, add a bit of petrol in it so that it ignites easier because diesel is a bit of a git to ignite. Yes. You know, it will ignite in vapour. Uh, and you also have to put what are called vaporizers in. And normally, what happens is on a on a uh, a liquid fuel engine, you would have a propane start, where you would actually have a have a small propane canister that heats up the fuel in the pipes, going to the nozzle, so that it's vaporizing already vaporizing the fuel in the nozzles and heating the fuel up going into the nozzle um, to sort of pre-vaporize it before it's actually coming out the nozzle. It just all makes for easier starting because uh, obviously if you with just neat diesel it's a bit of a git to start yeah. because it, it doesn't flame up very easily unless it's vaporised or unless it's in thin film which is vaporising more or less. Um, right so that, that's basically the principle of the, of the jet engine how it works. It's, it's, it's a similar operation to a, um, a, a car uh, um, internal combustion engine but instead of the such squeeze, uh, bang, blow, it doing, it's happening all at the same time. It's sort of, it's a continuous thing. You don't get the... Can you just say that again, please? It's suck, a, squeeze, bang, blow. Yeah, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. In a, uh, in a combustion engine, it sucks in air, it squeezes the air in the pistons, it ignites the air, that bangs, and then it, it forces the piston down and then blows it out the exhaust. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Well, with this, it suck, um, it doesn't squeeze it. <laughs> It sucks it, it uh, ignites it. This is going to have a 15 certificate by the time we've finished. <laughs> it sucks it, it doesn't squeeze it, it sucks it, ignites it, expands it, and then it's just, it's all one continuous thing. And that's why with a jet engine it's just, you just get a continuous noise. Yeah. You don't get the throb like you do with a, uh, there's another word, throb, <laughs> like you do with a uh, um, internal combustion engine. <laughs> Um, the afterburner fuel in this at the moment is diesel and petrol, about a sort of 70-30 mix. Yep. 70 diesel, 30 petrol. Again, the petrol is there just to ignite, help ignition of the diesel. It will ignite on diesel, but it's it's a bit iffy. Yeah. Um, it would be far better with kerosene in there. Yeah, kerosene sure. burns a lot higher uh, flame. It's a lot more volatile, and you get more thrust with it. Yeah. And you actually get more thrust if the whole thing was kerosene. Yeah. This kerosene is, is a, I can't remember the, the word, a higher, I can't remember it, it's, it's a higher burning fuel than propane. Octane? No, not no. octane. Uh, intrinsic? I can't remember. Right, <laughs> just running through the procedure of starting it, gives you a readout of your 
uh, RPM. If I spin that, you'll see the RPM goes up. Yep, check. Yep. Yep. Um, oil on. Right around the end. Straight round the end. Stop. It's now yeah. bending the needle. Which is okay. As long as the oil pressure is above 